myself and our wedding planner, Sonia, would come out a couple of months out before the day of the wedding to kind of get a great view of the room, get a feel on how we're going to be doing the decor and how we're going to be setting up for the wedding on the big day. That is something that is key and a must for each event that you will be having. You want to make sure that you know exactly where your event place is going to be taking place and how does your event space look like so you get a feel of how you would want to do the decor and so when the day of the wedding comes there's no misconfusions of how the room look and how everything look and the room look absolutely amazing guys the view is breathtaking the lighting of the room is fantastic it's definitely like a rustic meat you know industry feel which i love next time we come here we're going to be setting up for the big day oh and we can't wait big thing to do is to always check out the venue space before the day of the wedding to make sure you know before the day of the wedding everything is set ready to go there's no mistake there's no mishap ready to go this is looking nice on camera Ooh -wee. the boxes of flowers Finishing up on doing all of these flower arrangements. As you can see, this is a wet oasis form. You can see the water in there. You have to make sure these oases are fully soaked and wet. And this is basically a runner for the bridal party table. And to do this three inch runner, so it takes about 12 to 15 branches to complete this look about about a, about a box one box to complete this look but depending on the box that you get some comes in 10 branches some come in 15 so if it's 15 then this will take about 15 to 12 branches okay and the branches they look something like branches look something like this This is how they look. I forgot how much is it a pack. So how many stems it comes in a bunch? Not sure. I can try to count. Um, it fluctuates. So yeah, it fluctuates on the amount of stems that comes in a bunch. Mm -hmm. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see about ten, ten a bunch. So I know I look a little crazy right now, and I am really sorry that I'm appearing in front of the camera like this. However. I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I work behind the scenes, you know, when I do have a wedding and how crazy and hectic it can be. Um, so right now, currently, it is, let me show you guys. This is the time right now. Right now, it's 3.08 a.m. in the morning. And I haven't slept. Since I woke up this morning, I have yet to sleep. Um, I'm currently working on, you know, doing some fire arranging right now with my girl, Madeline. We both are working on these flower arrangements. And we still got a couple of more of these arrangements to go. Like I've mentioned before, these are, we are working on baby's breaths. The, the name of these babies' breasts are called the Gyps Excellence. This is the Gyps Excellence that I'm working on. I kind of wanted to show you guys how I go about and adding these babies' breath arrangement onto the brick. It's pretty easy to do. So these bricks you see right here is already filled up with water. So you got to make sure it's completely soaked in water. So I'm just going to kind of take them out of the bag. I kind of, I also have a major headache right now. It's probably because I haven't gotten any sleep. Um, I usually like to write things out. Like if I have a headache, I usually like to write it out instead of taking medicines. Um... But yeah, so what I do is, once I take it out of the bag, I cut the stems. I cut multiple stems, so I kind of do them in groups. I kind of cut them in groups. 
So you want to make sure once you cut it, all of them are nicely evened out. I'm going to cut a little bit of the stem some more. This, this is this wool right here that I've already started. When I keep on, it looks something like this. And then I add them to my next roll. And this is how it looks. So basically, I just repeat the same process over and over again until I get the full floor look. Oasis will keep them as nourished as possible. That's why we wet the oasis is so they can stay very nourished and so they can um, also bloom. Because the wedding is not till tomorrow, which is Monday. Hi guys, so sorry if I'm still looking like this, but this is my level of comfortness when I want to get some work done. Is having my hair away, tucked away, wearing something comfortable so that I can just be on full work mode. To me, this is what I consider comfortable when I want to get work done, especially work that would take me days to finish. So let me know in the comment section, how do you go about getting comfortable for you who does event? What is your level of comfort for you to, you know, get work done? What do you do? What routine that you do for when you have big events like this and you're getting work done what is your level of comfortness to me this is my how i'm looking right now is usually my level of comfortness of getting work done so this is the um this is the same morning um like i showed you guys right now this is the time right now 11 5 a.m same date and i'm still here i think i only got about Two hours and a half of sleep, I got up and to go right back onto finishing um, these brick runners for the long tables. Um, these are gonna go on long rectangular tables. So I'm still doing the same um, process that I showed you guys earlier on how to arrange the baby's birth into the brick runners. So it's the same process. It's a very repeated, tedious process. So that's what I've been doing all morning long since all day, since yesterday, carried on to all today. And I think last night I showed, I mean, I think earlier I showed you guys it was 3 or 5 right now, it's 11 or 5 and I'm still working on, on them and I'm still not finished because I still got uh, about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more bricks to do right now. So yeah, that's going to carry on all today as well on top of all the other things that I have to do. So yeah, um, that's definitely how it's looking like right now. Everything is going great so far. The bricks look so beautiful. The the baby's breath runners oh, look absolutely look absolutely amazing. Um, so also like for me to help me get through the day when I'm working a lot like this too, I love to listen to my gospel music, listen to like a really good gospel podcast. Or, you know, something of that nature, um, like a book or anything to kind of help me get through my busy work process. And I like to work in silence. Usually my kids, my, my mom would have them um, um, while I'm, when I'm on days that I'm really busy like this. Um, but yeah, so that's usually my, the process that I go through for just about every event. Um, and it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But, you know, when you enjoy something that you love, um, it doesn't feel like work. Um, so, right? Would you say Madeline? And Madeline is still I here agree. too. I agree. Our florist Madeline is one of the best, hardest working person that I've ever worked with. She's someone, once she gets focused into her work, she does not stop. She gets no sleep. Sometimes, I don't know how she does it, but she is the most amazing person to work with, especially in situations like those. Surround yourself with like-minded people like you. It will make your work process so much easier. And 
as long as you love what you do, you won't see it as work. You know, it can be tiring at times, but like I said, if you enjoy it, then you won't. It won't seem like work. Yeah. So that's true. The wedding is on Monday, and today's Sunday. So sometime it would take me, depending on how much work that I have to do, it could take me weeks to prepare. Oh, also um, for baby's breaths or any flowers that you you need to buy like a, a large amount of flowers, you definitely have to go to a wholesaler that you can really get a bigger bang for your buck. Um, you It's kind of hard to just go to any regular local stores to go get flowers because it costs you way much more money than if you go to an actual wholesaler, right, my name? Right. Where you can get it, um, the prices of your flowers for way less. Um, one of the good places that I like to go shop for a wholesale of flowers that has really good is in Miami. So just search for wholesale flower stores in your area and um, you compare prices or want which one will you get, you know, really good quality flowers for, um, especially when you have a big wedding and um, you need lots and lots of flowers like I'm using right now. I needed lots and I needed like 16 boxes of baby's breath like I showed you guys and um, which is a big amount. So this is not something you would typically get in your regular flower shop. Yeah, you definitely have, would have to go to your uh, a wholesaler that's located in your area to be able to find fresh, good quality flowers in bulk especially if you need like a large amount of those flowers. All right guys, so now I'm working on these beautiful bowls you see right here, they are gold. They are eight inches in diameter. I already have the wet oasis foam inside of it filled up with water. And now I am working on doing the floor arrangement for these beautiful gold bowls you see right here. Um, where you can purchase these bowls from is Michael's. Um, that's where you can find them if you want to know where it was purchased. So now I'm just going to basically show you guys how I do the flower arrangements with the baby's breath. So we're going to have two types of flower arrangement. We're going to have the runner flower arrangement that you see right here. And we're also going to have the, the, these beautiful bows floor arrangements as well. The long ones is going to go on the rectangle table, like I've mentioned before. And then the round and those bows are going to go on the round table. So I just do the same method where I cut all the branches off that has baby's breasts in them, group them together, and then just put them through your um, foam oasis. So I'm going to start on top first, and then kind of work my way. Okay guys, so today is the day of the wedding and this is how we go about uh, arranging our floors into our van. We place all of our floor arrangement onto a mat so it doesn't get dirty or messed up because we want to make sure everything is beautifully done and intact for the time we reach our destination. About to get in the venue, this is what the venue looks like on the outside. <laughs>
Mr. Turo in the house. Round table, that doesn't have it. I don't know, maybe I'll round table somewhere in the oh, back. So this one doesn't have any? No, no, this one without using those candles. The round table on it? Yeah. All right, so we got Madeline over here just killing it on the flower. And doing this arch octagon arrangement. Is that a hexagon or octagon? That would be a hexagon. Yes. Kami's be over here just crushing it. You know, for decorating weddings, if you watch my videos in the past, it really truly does take a A team to get the work done on a wedding day. You have to have your wedding planner, such as Sonia, that you've seen in all my previous videos. She's the decorator slash wedding planner. She's amazing at what she does and mapping out everything, making sure everything comes out right. And we have our florist, Madeline, who's really great at doing floor arrangement that you've seen in my previous videos videos before if you've watched my behind the scene you need an a-list team to get the work done without each other it'll be nearly almost impossible to do a wedding such as this magnitude so thank you everyone who always come out and give their 110 percent for each event
dog is walking in just a while. What's up? It's like your wedding. It was beautiful. Very good look at how I wanted it. That's how I envisioned. Blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's it. You're so Thank beautiful. You. I also want to give a big shout out to this amazing videographer who shared some of his amazing footages with us and I think he captured this wedding beautifully. This is the platform to his social media outlet. Definitely check him out for more information.